All right, guys, welcome back to Stone Block. Hey, it's Super Turtle. I hope you all are having a fantastic Friday. And if you're watching this later on, I hope you're having a great day, too. But anyways, guys, we're going to get into Batania today because I've never seen to be able to do it right. I always like start to automate it a little bit and we either restart and all that. So we're going to go ahead and knock it out right now. Get this over with. Get it started. Get good at it because you just got to get good, right? You just got to get good at things. But anyway, uh, I want to show you guys actually before we do that, my long fall boots. Check these bad boys out. I'll show you the recipe for them. They're pretty simple to make. Uh, just two obsidian, two diamonds, and two iron. And what they allow me to do is fly up here like this and go, ah, and I'm good. Oh, I just did something. Oh, I opened up a thing. Sorry, give me a sec. Okay, we un unopened it. All right. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Oh, look at this. A realistic, log logical, I'll deal with something. Um, don't worry about how I just said that. Welcome to Batania. I congratulate you on the fine choice of strapping a sapling to a book. Of strapping a sapling and a book together or just finding this tome in a chest. Haha, -ha, that's what we didn't do. We didn't do any of that. You can navigate this book using the arrows at the bottom of the page, your mouse wheel, or the arrow keys on your keyboard. Oh, cool. Despite the looks, Batania in essence is a tech mod by definition of requiring you to put to use inequity, thought, and redstone. And ingenuity, that's the word, to create and progress. It's good to keep that in mind. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Of course, you'll also be rewarded with cool toys. Ooh. I like toys. Is that referring to as like graphics cards? I love those. Uh, blocks and equipment, if you're worried. I'm not really all that worried. For all intents and, pur intents and purposes, Botania is a mod for anyone who likes to play the game with primary purpose of building cool things. It is designed to be fully playable standalone, but is also playable with other mods, excluding a couple cases. Everything in the mod is fully automatable using only Minecraft in itself. That's pretty cool. If you happen to find yourself lost, try checking out the mod. Yeah, we're, good. we're done reading. We're done. All right. In game. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. Basics and mechanics. Welcome to potato. I already did that. A tutorial of the basics. In game. I don't know what this means. Aha. Click this button. Then this button. Oh, yeah, we already made one of those. Cool. Mystical flowers. Okay, so in order to get these mystical flowers, we're gonna need to Where did you go the floral fertilizer? That's what we need in our life. So floral Fertilizer, okay Let's see Well, that didn't seem to work very well. Oh guys, we got a rabbit running around here somewhere. Hold up. Where'd you go, buddy? There's also a sheep. They're dead. How did they die? Oh, wait. I just heard the sheep. I don't know. There's a bunny running around here somewhere. So we need some flowers here, so we're going to take some of this out. Oh, yeah, make that. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is so great. Oh, this is just what I wanted to do in today's episode. I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to get some floral dye. <laughs> we'll be back. All right, so we do have some stuff now, which is always fantastic. But you're supposed to know what that means somehow. I don't know. Don't worry about it. You get two of them. That's just great. Um, okay, so we're going to need a bigger area for our grass to grow. This isn't going to work out well for us. So let me go ahead and build a little section over here. And I hope I still have some, some stuff and things left. I was going somewhere with that sentence. Hold up. Let me think. Let me think. Oh, I hope we have some grass blocks left. See? That is exact. I have this. Okay, so we're gonna do. Gosh, I wish this was faster. Hello, phone. We do have some grass blocks left, and we have grass seeds. Perfection. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw these down and throw the other ones on top of them, and they're just gonna throw down. 
Aha, I have found the bunny. Here he is. Look at him. He's running away. Come back here, Mr. Bunny. Hey, where are you going? Hi. All right, Mr. Sheep, get out of the way. That's what I thought. So we got a hit. We got our little grass space here. We're going to go poof. And we're going to go poof. Okay. So this gave us some stuff and things. And we did get the one in my hand. This is the one we needed, the mystical white flower. Of all the ones we needed, this was the one that we needed. Uh, so let's go ahead here. We get the poop out of our inventory. <laughs> Sorry, I said poop. Um, so we're going to need to make a pedals, pedals, pedal, pedal, something at... I'm just going to I'm just gonna make a cool crafting thing. Okay. Oh, and by the way, I want to test something out here. This was a suggestion in our last episode. So we're going to see how much stuff one stick can smelt with the super smelter. Now, I have a theory that it will smelt three stacks. So here we go. We're going to put one in there. Let's go. Oh, we're going to get two. Okay, so it's two if you catch it right. But dang, one stick... And you can smelt up almost two full things. That is freaking sweet. I don't care if your name is Leroy Jenkins. That is sweet as heck. Okay, so what I'm actually going to need to do is get some better, um, some more flowers, guys. So I'm going to need to go ahead and bone meal up that, that place here with normal stuff and get normal flowers. Oh, look, a flower. Hey, you look at that. We actually got a quest. Let's go ahead and look at it. I never, I never even paid attention to this. All right, give us something good for Batania. Here you go. Oh, another one of those. You just love it giving those out, don't you? Mm-hmm. That's what I thought, video game. Boom. Yes. Speed. I am speed. Get out of my thingy. This is my grass place. Keep, keep your poop. Okay. Get out of here. You're going to die, chicken. You are what? You want a death wish? If I hit you one more time, you're gonna die. And I won't be sad. Okay. Oh, I got your poop again. Don't do it, chicken. Okay, so we got a bunch of flowers now, which is a good thing. You're almost dead. I ain't even gonna heal you with seeds, because you're being stupid. Okay. So, let's have a look. Flower. Let's have a look here. We need to still craft one of these. What is one of those? It is one of this. How do you make a bowl? What is a bowl anymore? That is a bowl. Okay. All right. We made it. Ta-da. Made it. All right. Now we're going to go crunch, crunch. Boom. 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 Lime. Okay. What if we go crunch, crunch? Do we get crunch, crunch? We get crunch, crunch. Okay. We did it. Right click on the floor power on any wool or carpet changes its color. Oh, cool. Mixing, it's possible to create different types of fertilizer. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes, we don't have to get normal things anymore. You're on it again. Oh, and he just pooped right off of it. You got it. Man, what a rebellious chicken. Normal dye, tall flowers. Ooh, you can make blocks out of this stuff now? I don't remember that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so Petal Pothecary. <laughs> this is where we make all of our stuff and things. Okay, so we need to make petals of my Pothecary. We need to make... Oh, text message. What's going on? Oh, it's my sister. She's saying, hello, YouTube. How's it going? Okay. Let's see. There it is. Petal of Pothecary. We've got it. I don't know why I've developed an accent in the process of making this petal apothecary. I think down here is going to be our Botania thing. Our Botania area. Boom. Yeah. Now we need to bring a sink. Do I have sink? All right, so we got a sink here, and let's put it down here. Call good. We fill this bad boy up. Okay, so next off... Pure daisy. Now, this is what we need for the next step here to make living wood and living rock. So, how doth one make it? Four white 
petals, huh? We've got we've got enough. And let's see so Oh, we need a seed. We need seeds. They didn't tell me this part. Come on. Uh yeah, here we go. Do 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 can we snipe it? Yeah. Alright. So we've got we've got this Actually, the cool thing is that we should be able to go, because we're going to break this floor anyway. We'll place this here and like that. Ooh, look, the particles get off of there. Make it a thingies. Okay, so let's see how dark it is in here, actually. Ooh. It is spooky. Spooky, scary skeletons. It is October. I can sing that. <laughs> but anyway, I love that sound. So we've got, we've got one of those going over there. That is perfect. I've developed an accent again because I feel like when you talk about Britannia, you just have to talk about it with an accent. All right. Anyway. Runic altar, huh? Mana pearl. We... Wand of the forest. So we need to make these sticks here. And in order to do that, we need to make... One more of these and put wood around it instead of just stone. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Oh, oh, oh look at that! Living rock. Ta-da! Oh my goodness, we have a gelid cryotheum of fluid cow. Are you kidding me? Why, why are you a thing? This is great. You're great. Chicken, you're on my thing again. Rip. Dang, look at all this living wood. It's so live. Okay, so, oh, you got some of the cool eyes, guy? You should share your cool eyes. Okay, so, yes. Make three of these, and then let's grab some flowers. We're going to use this bad boy. Okay, it should be like this. Bam. Okay. So we have the wand, which is what we needed. We're also going to make one of these, which will hold our mana. Um, here. See? We need... Oh, yep. We got it. Oh. Diluted. So it's tinier. Okay. So yeah, there's... Mana is needed for, like, everything. Um, but... We need to generate mana. What are you? I don't know. We need to make some, what are the, let's have, let's have a look here at Botania. There are these certain flowers that make mana when you throw like coal in the area. So they're basically like a furnace on the ground. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, I'll have a look. Bear back. Uh, that's right. They're called the Endo Flames. So we're going to need light gray, red, and brown flowers. So, brown. Perfect. Red. And do we have light gray? I don't think we do. Um, yes, we do. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Go like so, go like so, and go like so. We'll grab some blaze powder. I don't know. Actually, no, it won't work with blaze powder. Uh, we'll just grab some coal. And let's see about doing the fancy schmancy stuff here. Okay, so in order to do you, that's white. We need, I think it's one light gray, one of you, and two of you. Yep, okay, so we need, I forget the seeds again, gosh dang it. Just the normal seeds is all we needed to make the beautifulness. Okay, we're going to try to snipe this. Oh, so close. All right, we got an endo flame. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so boom. We've got that. And let's have a look here. Where'd it go? Oh, hold up. Do you not work anymore? 
What? What? Okay, so it turns out we have to link it to a mana spreader before we can go ahead and start throwing fuel at it. So let's see here. Mana spreader is here. Boom. Okay, so let's go ahead. We should have everything to start collecting mana. And then we have a few blacker lotus. Let's see, can we place it like that? Perfect. And... Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, now... Oh, it worked! Move, please. Oh, look, we got mana! We got mana! Perfect! Okay, so when you have mana in there, you should be able to, like, the... The mana will break down anything you throw in there. Not mana. We don't need mana. We need a blacker lotus. Look at it. So these are like super full of mana. And it will probably end up filling up our mana pool here. Oh, it kind of did. So now we got all of that mana in there. How much do we got? Oh my goodness, it's almost full. Oh my, my goodness gracious. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? It's almost full. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get this bad boy started up again. Okay, that's good, because we're going to go ahead and throw another one in there, but first off, we need to see what's next. Okay, so we kind of did jump ahead going to the mana spreader, by the way, but so we're, it still wants us to talk about the mana pool, and you can make cobwebs. You can make blue cookies. Oh, that's a biscuit of totality. Mana spreader. Yeah, we just went over this. Very... What, what, hold up. What was that? Redstone? Oh, that's cool. Because, oh, you can make better mana spreaders depending on how far along you get. That makes sense. Okay, so it wants us to go back here. Generating. Okay, did that. So the endo flame. We've already made up the endo flame. Now what? Functioning flora. Ooh, redstone root. Why? Why do we need to make this? If we're okay, all various places of mana, botanical to create functional flowers. These flowers will drain mana from nearby mana pool. Can I see power directly through mana spreaders? Okay, all functional flowers. I'm like generating flowers. Contain a small buffer of mana. Standard rules for mana reading apply. Right clicking with a wand of the force will update the mana spreading thing of a bubber. It is important to keep in mind that the flower... I almost said flavors. The, the flavors memorize the mana pool from which they are pull mana out of. They'll only pull from the nearest pool present at the time of the flower being placed or the closest placed afterward if none was present and none other. So, okay. Lastly, redstone root in their creation. If they do, the flower's effects can be toggled with a redstone signal. Oh! You turned on a flower... I don't get it. I don't really care. So, runic altar. That seems pretty simple to make to me. That seems pretty simple. What the? I'm out of ender pearls? What kind of, what kind of madness? Oh. Oh. Oh, our system is full. That would probably explain why the frame rate seems to be a little bit lower than normal. We're going to have to fix that in a future episode, but not this episode. So we're going to use a diamond that... Oh, actually, no. I want to use an ender pearl because it's cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah, look at that. Look at it. Oh, the hoe broke from that thing over there. Okay, so now that we've got this living rock made up, I'm so glad I went ahead and made up some more. Because we're going to need it to make things and stuffs. Alright, so the runic altar. That seems pretty simple to make. So let's just go like this. Go like that. Makes basically a hat. Oh. Okay. 
Runic altar. I've never I've never actually gotten to this part yet. This is cool. Okay, what do you do? Oh, I know what you are. You make the cool things. Okay, so let's see here about upgrading this bad boy. That's not a thing anymore. Okay. Well. Holy crap. Oh, I picked them up. <laughs> I was like, it used all of those over. So how long does that burn for? I'm going to throw this up. Oh, missed. Oh, don't stack. We're going to see if we can slide it in. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so we made the runic altar. We're cool. 16 runes exist. Okay, so this is where you make the runes. Like I said before, totally said it. The runic altar function as a catalyst. Similar to the petal crop. Petal apothecary. Ooh. Mana powder. Mana, 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 mana. All right, so it's just kind of going through all of the different runes we can make. Um, as of right now, I'm not 100% sure why I want to make them. Um, Restores over, you should now have the basic idea of how Batania works. I have learned nothing! Just kidding, I'm pretty good at this. Um, Black Lotus, Flower Pouch... Man, there's so much stuff to do in this. It is so cool. Um, Ender, Bobbles. What? Portal. Okay, we're not at the portal yet. I don't want to even think about that yet. Miscellaneous. Dispenser planting. Tiny potato! Ha <laughs> ha! So Terra Steel. So what I had originally, why I made this one is because the mana pool you used to throw into another mana pool, and it would basically upgrade the mana pool if that made any sense. Um, it's basically like the second tier, and obviously we don't do that anymore. Sure, that kind of stinks. Is there Thomcraft in this? No way. Let's have a look. Yeah, no Thomcraft. Okay. So this will have to suffice. Um, so let's let's grab some iron ingots. How much? <laughs> That's kind of cool. Okay, so we have mana steel now, and can we just turn this into terra steel like this? Nah, they did. They fixed that. Okay, so let's see here. Terra steel. Oh, that's right. You gotta make the. Okay, so this is how we get terra steel. That makes logical sense. Mine did not. Oh, I like that sound. That's a cool sound. Okay, so there's another flower that we used to make, and it was like kind of unlimited power, but they've kind of neutered it since. I mean, nerfed it since, not neutered it. Um, that's an eyeball. Yeah. Well, now what can we make with mana? Oh, can we make a ring? Make a mana, a mana, mana, mana ring. Hold shift for more info, Batania. That's great information, game. Thank you very much for that. Okay. Um. Let's see here. So. Boo, 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 boo. Sheep, get out of here. Mana manipulate. Mana tablet. I don't think we looked at this yet. Oh. Sadly, it does not have Wi-Fi. Gosh dang it, Batania. I needed one thing, and one thing only, and you don't have it. What kind of shenanigans is this? Okay. So let's go ahead and make up some more of this. And we'll see what comes about. All right, so here we've got a mana tablet. Now, I'm not 100% sure how this works, so the book will probably tell me how it works. Uh, Tossing one of these to a mana pool will allow you to transport mana between one and another. Oh, that is not what I thought it was. It's, eh, okay. <laughs> well, we're, that's something to make. Well, cool, huh? There's a waste of time. 
Uh, these sparks. Sparks are interesting entities. Uh, created from the combination of raw energy and mana, they have the ability to be placed on top of a few specific mana containing or accepting blocks, main and mana pools. Some blocks have the ability to harness mana from sparks, but the uses for them seem limited to a few blocks right now. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and make a spark, because we can. And honestly, this is one of the coolest looking things of Batania. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and make it. Live drive. Just watch. Check. That looks so cool. It sees right through it. Like, it's not even there. Look, it disappeared. Like, it's fine. And then, look, you can just see through it. It's like a green screen. I don't know why, but it's so cool. But anyways, guys, we are we have run out of time for the episode today. Say hello to... This is Jenkins. He's our pal. He's going to be our... We're going to... Take his gelid cryotheum. Look at this. We got his gelid cryotheum. We're running with it. We're going to wrap up the episode for today. Leave your suggestions down below what you guys think about Batania. And because I'm a noob at Batania, so I would love your guys' feedback. Help me out as much as you can because I, I just want I just wanted to help things. I don't know. It looks like I have a mustache, doesn't it? It does. It looks like I have one of those old police officer, uh, like, handlebar mustaches where it's like, license and registration, please. Yeah. But anyways, guys, we're going to wrap up the episode for today. I'll see you guys next episode. Peace out. Bye-bye. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs>